Social Sciences and Humanities Open Cloud, Shock, European H2020 Project, united 20 partner organizations and their 27 associates, in developing the social sciences and humanities area of the European Open Science Cloud. From January 2019 to April 2022, Shock transformed the social sciences and humanities data landscape with its disciplinary silos and separate facilities into an integrated, cloud-based network of interconnected data infrastructures. As the Shock coordinator, SESDA, the Consortium of European Social Science Data Archives, chaired the first year, which is the strategic body of the project, and facilitated important decision-making during the project's lifetime. This gave us the central role in creating a sustainable model for the SSH Open Cluster that will continue the work started in shock and ensure that the connection with other science clusters continues beyond the project duration. Coordinating the work of the Project Management Board and a project of this size with more than 50 institutions and over 200 people gave CESDA the experience and the network to build up its leadership skills and continue the success record in CESDA project portfolio. By participating in SHOC, SESDA set the path for its service providers to make strong connections with the consortium and expand their expertise. This enabled intersection of SESDA core activities and SHOC results and contributed to a wider outlook in developing SESDA tools, services and networks. Hi, we are DANS, Data Archiving and Network Services in the Netherlands. We are very proud that DANS contributed to the SHOC project. For task 5.2, we developed an archive in a box, an easy installation of the data-first software for research organizations and data repositories. We adjusted the repository data-first software to the needs of the social science and humanities communities. And DANS also contributed to Work Package 6 for training activities within DANS. Uh, we um, uh, developed a community trainers, so we organize monthly training meetings, but we also organize several boot camps for, for trainers, and we de developed the training discovery toolkit, where you can find all kinds of resources to be re used in your own training on research data management, open science, etc. We also contribute to the trust task of work package 8. This is our shock team of dance, uh, they work remotely, and uh, we are very proud we contributed to the SHOP project. Over the last three years, a community has grown among the project partners. Now there are new networks like Trust Support and the Dataverse community, just to name a few. And of course, SESTA has been able to take the SHOP results and integrate them with existing tools and services, so that interoperability across our domains and with the wider EOS becomes even better. Hello. I'm Irena vipalc from Slovenian Social Science Data Archives, located at the Faculty of Social Sciences, University of Ljubljana. We are linked third party to SESA ERIC. In short project, we are leading the task that has organized 30 awareness raising events, presenting tools and services developed in the project to over 2,200 representatives of shock stakeholders. ADP also contributed to automated conversion of records originally published in DDI standard. This additional format will increase visibility of EDP metadata inclusion in other catalogs like Clarin Virtual Language Observatory. In shock, EDP both contributed and observed how the SSH discipline joined forces and collaborated on innovations. Our involvement in the engagement and communication gave us great insight in the project developments which we were able to bring to social science researchers and to the Slovenia research community at large. We hope that the SHOP community will continue to thrive. This is the Institute of Computational Linguistics in Pisa and as coordinators of CLAR in Italy, our participation in SHOP World Package 3 allowed us to experiment with natural language processing and machine translation approaches for multilingual data curation. We enriched our national repository with terminological resources, which have been also made available on the SHOCK vocabulary platform. More generally, the project allowed us to have a better understanding of the EOSC dynamics, which resulted in a strong participation of our institute in the EOSC task forces. Hi all! Participating in the SHOCK project gave ESS Eric HQ the chance to develop 
an amazing tool called WPSS, which means Web Panel Simple Service. This tool will give the opportunity to the survey research community to develop cross-national multilingual service and manage this service. Personally, the Shock project has been a long, nice journey, which gave me the opportunity to meet other people from other disciplines, other fields, and share with them new projects, new ideas. Thank you, everyone. Hope to see you all again. Hi, my name is Jure Skubitz, and I'm the member of the Shock team at the Faculty of Arts, University of Ljubljana, Slovenia. We have mostly contributed to the project by coordinating training workshops and webinars for the SSH community. More than 1,100 researchers, librarians, archivists and representatives of research performing institutions, private sector and civil society from 22 countries in Europe and beyond participated in 20 workshops and webinars. Our training events aimed to empower data users, producers and data experts through skills and knowledge transfer to maximize the uptake of shock resources and to promote data-driven and cross-disciplinary research directions. Although we primarily planned to organize them as face-to-face -face events, most of them had to be delivered online due to the COVID-19. Despite the many challenges caused by the pandemic, all the workshops and webinars were, were delivered successfully with our lecturers being extremely flexible and the participants highly motivated to learn. We have made all the workshops and webinars available on the SHOCK YouTube channel so that they can still be accessed and viewed by members of different scientific communities. We are very satisfied with the lasting positive impact our workshops and webinars have achieved in the visibility of the SHOCK resources in the SSH communities. We are also grateful to have been able to contribute to the shock since we have learned a lot and have built strong links with both the shock and the SSH community. Through the shock project, the Royal Academy and the Netherlands Interdisciplinary Demographic Institute were able to renew existing and start new collaborations within social sciences and humanities. The value of the integration of the infrastructures is demonstrated by the innovative data products which were created in the course of the project such as the audio transcript data and the social policy API. In addition, the SHOCK project allowed to exchange ideas about the potential of the European Open Science Cloud for further collaboration and development of European infrastructures such as the Generations and Gender program. Hello, my name is Henk van den Heuvel. I work for Radboud University in Nijmegen and to work linked third party to Claren Eric. In the SHOCK project, we worked on two tasks. One was on remote secure access to sensitive data. And the other one was on processing spoken answers in LIS panel surveys using automatic speech recognition, topic modeling and sentiment scoring. Both tasks were very pioneering and it was very inspiring to work together with social scientists in the field. A great privilege which I am very grateful to Shock. Thank you, Shock. Hi, my name is Jan Brase. I'm from University of Göttingen. Representing Daria Germany, we were also a member in the Shock project. We were active in the marketplace, in text and data mining, uh, in working together concerning data repositories, and uh, working on data citation. It was a great experience to see how humanities and social sciences can work together and how our different use cases could be beneficial for each other. Hi, my name is Erzy Betul-Cifra. I'm the Open Science Officer of DARIA, the European and Digital Research Infrastructure for the Arts and Humanities. And a dominant experience in my daily job is that epistemic cultures do matter which means uh, that open science will not truly open unless it's equally inclusive with all the disciplines. But this is not an easy thing to do because what works for one discipline or a group of disciplines will not necessarily work for others. Um, and in this respect, the SHOCK project um, gives us a precious opportunity to team up with our sister infrastructures on the one hand, like SESDA and Clarin, and other organizations like LIDER, 
to bring social sciences and humanities to the European Open Science Cloud on the one hand, and on the other, to help the transition to the open research culture in these disciplines a little bit. But on the other hand, in many cases, scholars in the social sciences and humanities disciplines uh, are already doing genuine open science without necessarily branding them as such. And all these practices, all these open workflows, all these tools, services, training materials, all these different kinds of efforts are well deserved to be rewarded and recognized both within and across the disciplinary silos. Um, the SSH Open Marketplace uh, is a very important and also long-awaited service for Daria. The original idea was to sustain um, a digital humanities uh, tools directory, but then luckily we uh, had the opportunity to evolve this idea and so we decided to team up with uh, our allies, our partners in the SHOP project for its development and to accommodate the whole social sciences and humanities domain to um, to see, uh, to, to showcase commonalities across the domain, um, shared needs, shared solutions, shared resources, but also disciplinary differences. So the marketplace uh, as it is now will hopefully be able to accommodate a much broader range of disciplines and will hopefully go beyond borders as well. Hi, my name is Laure Barbo. I work for DIA, the Digital Research Infrastructure for the Arts and Humanities. Over the last uh, three years, the Shock Adventure has been a great opportunity for DIA to build the SSH Open Marketplace, a discovery portal for resources useful to support the uptake of digital methods for social scientists and humanists. The SSH Open Marketplace is now out there. It will be maintained by Daria, Clarin and Cesda after the project. And we can already see interest and contributions from researchers. So continue to use it and we will continue to provide infrastructure and support. Hello, this is Semantic Web Company based in Vienna in Austria. My name is Martin, I'm CFO and co-founder of the company and we will tell you about the added value that the Shock project brought to us to Semantic Web Company as an industry partner in Shock. So I hand over to my colleague Sotiris. Thank you, Martin. Hello, I'm Sotiris and uh, through our participation in WorldPacad 7, we were tasked to uh, populate the data marketplace, the marketplace of Shock. Uh, and through this, we were exposed into new interesting challenges of data integration. And in order to tackle this, uh, these issues, we had to uh, expand the capabilities of our flagship product, the full party semantic middleware. And uh, this is uh, how, how it worked in, uh, on this work package. And uh, now Albin can share us his experiences in work package name. Uh, thank you, Sotiris. So I'm Albin. So in Work Package 9, uh, we have acquired a lot of knowledge in the electrical studies with our partners. So we have uh, identified taxonomies and ultimately we have built a knowledge graph in the area of electrical uh, studies. Um, we, uh, while building the uh, application and the knowledge graph, uh, we have also received a lot of input and feedback by the end users of this commu community. And uh, on top of this, uh, we also uh, have identified uh, different tools to, uh, uh, for example, parse publications, and uh, that can be used for different use cases, such as uh, contract intelligence. Thank you very much. Finally, what also was an added value is that we learned to know the EOSC, the European Open Science Cloud, how it works, how interoperability works. And this is also uh, an interesting added value for our company because we do a lot of work in industrial data spaces and thereby we can better now bring together EOSC and industrial data spaces. So that's the added value that Shock brought to the Semantic Web Company. We had also a lot of fun and a good time in the project, and we thank everybody to be part of it. Uh, all the best from Vienna. Bye-bye. 
This video is all about the C's and D's. Why the C's and D's, you ask? Here's why. Austa, the Austrian Social Science Data Archive, is a SESTA ERIC service provider for social science data. In shock, we engage in communication and dissimulation to make all the partners' activities visible to the public. We work on Dataverse to make the software a better fit for the SSH needs. It is our pleasure to support the data community's integration into the social sciences and humanities open cloud. Those were in short our season Ds. But what about yours? After discovering all the wonderful partner videos, have a look at the SSH open marketplace and discover all the amazing resources for yourself. Continue to explore and use all of Shock's outputs. Thank you. At Science School, we collaborated with ESS ERIC, the European Social Survey, to develop the WPSS, the Web Panel Central Service. Showcasing the tool on the EOSC and Shock Marketplace is a great achievement, improving both vulnerability and accessibility of shock research outputs. Working within the shock project enhanced my knowledge on the open science model. I gained valuable insight on the process of making research outputs findable, accessible, interoperable and reusable. Also, working on survey codings, part of work package number three, has strengthened our ties with different organizations in our environment. I'm glad being part of the SHOCK project, helping making science more democratic, accessible and open, and also contributing for long-term preservation of EVS questionnaires and translations. For LIBER, as the association of research libraries in Europe, participation in the SHOCK project was hugely important. Libraries play a major role in the European Open Science Cloud with their knowledge of metadata as providers of services and as intermediaries uh, towards researchers. The social sciences and humanities have always been an important domain for research libraries. Through participation in shock, we have been able to, to involve research libraries in the development of the SSH part of the Open Science Cloud and in return to train them in the services and knowledge provided by SHOCK. Hi, my name is Marcel Das. I'm the director of Center Data. Center Data is a non-profit research institute housed at the campus of Tilburg University in the Netherlands. We specialize in data collection, software development and applied research. We were very pleased to be part of the SHOCK project. For Work Package 3, Center Data worked on survey codings and the integration of new ontology data, with the aim of making the survey codings environment more sustainable. For Work Package 4, we explored possibilities for data exchange and integration between TMT and open source CAD tools, resulting in a demo tool connecting to my memory and the development of a new translation memory solution based on translation data from various TMT instances. Finally, for work, work Package 5, we worked on integrating biometric data into a dissemination platform with the aim of making this data more usable, accessible and fair. A oh, shock, yeah. <laughs> it helped us make our tools more fair and uh, sustainable. And of course, we made a lot of new friends. The SHOCK cluster project has allowed us as an SME to embrace more than ever our shared values for high levels of social protection and inclusion, democratic governance, human rights, gender equality, and to embrace all types of social and economic transformations. We are reusing these skills we've learned to feed into related areas of activities both in 2022 and 2023 into SSH communities. So this is a great means of exploitation for us. We've had to adapt our communication and dissemination mandate for shock within the new restricted boundaries COVID-19 forced us to deal with. Yet we bounced back, responding with our agile approach to, in, to integrating innovative, interactive ways of dialogue and mutual conversations for our outreach program. 
and how to effectively display our shock user stories. One of our best uh, stories from our SME point of view was in putting together a League of Data Gamification UX tool by our team of developers to help users grasp the Data Management Expert Guide or DMEG, as you will see uh, displayed in, uh, in our assets, what, which is one of SHOCK's multiple results that's come out of the project. So we're thrilled to have been part of this.